Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to our urban homestead. And today I am gonna be grilling up some chicken and canning that and getting it on my pantry shelves. I really like to have easy throw together meals occasionally and canning grilled chicken is awesome. It's wonderful in a casserole or it makes great quick chicken fajitas. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I've got some chicken thighs here. I've got my George Foreman heating up. I'm gonna season all of this chicken. I'm gonna use garlic powder, paprika, and farm dust. You can season it with whatever you want. So I'm gonna season it, get it all tossed and coated. And now <clears throat> I'm gonna grill up this chicken. You can certainly do it on a uh, barbecue grill if you want, but it's pretty hot outside and I don't feel like doing that. So, <laughs> George Foreman for the win. And I'll be back once all this is grilled up. The chicken is all cooked, so I'm going to get them sliced up and into jars and I'll show you what I do next. So I have three chicken thighs into each of these quart jars. That's gonna be enough for one meal for us because we are empty nesters and that'll be plenty for either a casserole or fajitas. So now I'm just adding a teaspoon of this uh, chicken bouillon and then I've got some boiling hot water here and I'm gonna fill the jar you can do plain water if you want but I like to uh, you know keep it flavorful people so I'm gonna get all of these filled so I have filled these to the one inch headspace mark with the water I'm gonna go ahead and debubble the jars. And refill the water if it's needed, which it's not looking like it since these are not tightly packed. And then you want to wipe your rims very well. With a hot, damp paper towel, make sure that you go around it a couple times because this is chicken. Chicken is kind of greasy. And then I'm going to place my lid. my band fingertip tight and into the canner. The jars are in the canner, the lid is on and locked. My heat is on medium high. There was hot, well not hot, warm water in the canner. Follow your manufacturer's instructions on how much water to put in your canner. And so now I'm gonna let this come up to temperature and it will start to steam. Once it starts steaming, set a timer for 10 minutes. Once your canner has vented for 10 minutes, you're gonna put your weight on. Now you do need to do your own research on what your altitude level is and what pound pressure you need to can at. And then once this weight starts to jiggle, you're gonna set a timer for 90 minutes because it's quartz. If you're doing pints, it would be 75 minutes and that's the same time for any meat, um, any protein. So my jiggler is at a nice steady hula and my timer is set for 90 minutes. So now the timer is up. 
You want to let this come down naturally. Don't jiggle that weight. Don't do anything other than turning your heat off. Let it come down from pressure naturally. All right, guys, and here the jars are out of the canner. Aren't they beautiful? So I was putting the clips together and I realized I did not uh, sign off for this video. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. Stock those pantry shelves. And until next time, abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye.